towards Hinduism and also his uniqueness is shown when just like our sir said that at the age of 25 he left to become a monk. This shows his extraordinary thoughts and uniqueness. So he, Swami Vivekananda came from a very extremely educated family and also a liberal one. He, as a, his father was a lawyer who was fluent in languages such as Persian, Hindi, Urdu, and Sanskrit, and many more. So uh, his extraordinary and extremely supportive family was one of the major reasons because of his revolutionary ideals. So Vivekananda started his initial years of schooling in a school which was run by Iswar Chandra, which many people know was a great social reformer. Now he uh, began to do his college education from the Calcutta Presidency College, where he, along with doing his uh, uh, college studies, he became very much interested in studies of Hinduism scriptures and Western philosophy. He also went on to join a faction of the Brahmo Samaj, which was created by Raja Ram Mohan Roy. He joined it, and there was a significant impact by him done on it. So keep in mind, this was all done by him just before or at the age of 20. Nowadays, uh, most of the students present here, along with myself, are around the age of 15. And uh, the, the adults, like 20 years old uh, of our generation, uh, I don't think that they are much as capable as Swami Vivekananda, they post and flex about their games and stuff. So yeah, moving on to our topic. Swami Vivekananda, his, um, let us think of Swami Vivekananda's picture like this. It is completely black and white. And now we add some colors of Hinduism scriptures, add some more of Vedanta, add some more spiritual uh, colors of Bible and the Hafiz. That's right, he was a great, um, he had great knowledge of Bible. Let us add some more colors of Western philosophy, of Western esotericism. Now, with all these colors combined, the colorful image of Swami Vivekananda had a very powerful impact and attracted the masses in the population. Now, uh, the Guruji, uh, as I should say, of Swami Vivekananda was Sri uh, Ramakrishna, just as many people have said before me. Now, uh, I won't talk about what he has learned. I'll talk about how they met. So, it was a very interesting story. Swami Vivekananda was studying in his college and his teacher was explaining a poem. In that poem, there was a word called as trends. Now, he didn't quite understand the meaning along with his classmates. Now, uh, when he asked his teachers, after several attempts, when they didn't understand, they told him that there was a person known as Sri Ramakrishna coming to town and they should visit him. And now when he visited there, there was, uh, there was an absence of a person who sang versions. Now, Swami Vivekananda, knowing his personality, he started singing versions. And now Sri Ramakrishna was so impressed that he invited him to his own ashram to sing for him. Now, Swami Vivekananda being himself, he asked these questions to everybody. He asked Sri Ramakrishna, Have you seen God? And Ramakrishna replied, and I quote, Yes, I have seen God. I have seen in the same way I see you but in a much clearer sense. And I would like to mention one more incident. On, 19, on 1993, when he visited the Chicago Parliament of Religion, he made such an incredible speech that introduced Vedanta to the Western world, that it changed the views of Western people, of the people of first world countries about India and Hinduism. Now, uh, I'd like to end my speech with a quote that is one of my favorite from him. One cannot believe in God if he does not believe in himself. Thank you.